hello guys welcome to this channel this video will show you how to create an outbound event on google tag manager so let's get it on here my google tag manager uh, i assume you already correct to install the google tag manager on your website or on your apps now i will show you how to count or to track the outbound link when clicked by users and then here how to doing that first you go to your uh, triggers so i do prefer do from triggers but if you want to do from tags you can you can uh, uh, you can do it also so i do prefer from triggers and then i will click just like this the outbound link so i can click new and then i will put the name of this one for example click to instagram and then i could click uh, this this trigger configuration and then find click uh, click and just links so i click this one and then i put some link clicks then i change the trigger conditions are page url you can click this page url that contains instagram so if you are put uh, your uh, link uh, links on your website or apps uh, using instagram.com blah 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 this this trigger will count any url that uh that contain these words also if it's not from instagram.com if you put just like this if you have uh, an outbound link for example another article of instagram you uh, this uh, this configuration will detect that outbound click so how to prevent just put instagram.com like this and then click save so now i have the trigger and i now i need to put it on the tag so i can click tags and then click new and then tag configuration and then you can rename this one by tag of outbound instagram and then choose the configuration for you have to use the google analytics ga for events and then see this is you can click uh, it's supposed to be my GA4 configuration here. You can find by yourself because on this account, I don't have any GA4. So I just demonstrated for you and then you can click the event name for so you can customize it or you can use the library from from this Google Tag Manager, for example, the page path or page house name and so on. So I do prefer click to Instagram. So later in in the Google Analytics, this name will be shown and then the triggering you put that this click to instagram and then click save okay the the tag is uh, so i can click none and then the measurement id of my ga4 for example i will put it randomly like this and then click save oh okay i put pull g is like this click save and then and then eventually you have to click submit and then click publish and then voila you finish the tutorial and you, you can check your configuration is correct or not by using this tag manager and then you can click uh you can click the simulation or the wait for it you can click preview here so you can use live preview of your website triggering the google tag manager okay that's it this very simple i think not very simple this four minutes tutorial i hope you can uh whoever who stay on uh, for these minutes thank you for watching if you think this content is helpful for you you can click thanks on down below we will really appreciate that thank you bye bye or if you have any question regarding google tags manager you can put on a comment below i will try to create the videos for you thank you bye bye